A possible spy has been caught in Venezuela. Hugo Chavez announced that a man of Latin American origin but is a U.S. citizen was caught illegally entering Venezuela from Colombia. Chavez announced that while he was being captured, he was trying to destroy a notebook that had a bunch of coordinates on it. Now, he said uh, that he was caught entering f f to Venezuela from Colombia, but he won't say, the man under under capture right now, won't say why he was there. However, he did have him, he did have on him a U.S. passport that had Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya recently stamped on it. And those locations alone make it very suspicious. This is what Hugo Chavez said. He says he was fleeing from someone. It's a powerful sign. This citizen wanted to enter the country illegally for who knows what reason. He cannot say where he was going or who was waiting for him. Now, earlier Chavez did warn with the coming election on October 7 that the opposition, obviously funded by the U.S. and other imperial interests, were going to try something. He suggested that uh, it was very likely that they would try some form of violence. Given the timing of this man's illegal entry into Venezuela, uh, the suspicious nature in which he did it, and the fact that he had those particular areas, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Libya, and the fact that Hugo Chavez said that the man looked like a mercenary, it's very possibly likely, given all of this circumstantial evidence, that the man actually was a mercenary or some kind of U.S. agent. I mean, it's, it really, really looks that way. He may not be, but I bet my bottom dollar the guy actually was. And the reason I think this is because not only the United States' current relationship or lack of relationship with Venezuela, but the fact that the American media has been so quiet about this. There's been almost, I was not able to find a single statement by the U.S. government on this situation. There may be one, I just wasn't able to find it. And the fact that the media has been very, very quiet about this. You would think that if a U.S. citizen was arrested in Venezuela, that the media would go into panic mode saying how Hugo Chavez is persecuting a poor American who didn't do anything wrong and it's an evil totalitarian government regardless of how many times he's democratically elected and proven so by well every international regulatory body who comes and monitors these things they would be using this against Venezuela they'd be claiming how they're persecuting American citizens and use that to whip up ignorant right-wing hatred but they're not is being, they're being very, very quiet about this, which in itself is very suspicious. So given all that, I'm pretty sure that this guy was, I think, some form of agent provocateur that had actually been captured.